Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. We've recently been doing some general maintenance on our 68 Mustang Coupe. The transmission was shifting a little bit funky, so we replaced the fluid and put a new filter and new pan gasket on it while we were at it. The next item we're going to replace is going to be the vacuum modulator. The vacuum modulator receives vacuum from the intake manifold and controls transmission pressure, so if this isn't working properly, you can definitely mess up your shifts. So today we're going to show you how to replace your modulator using our 68 Mustang Coupe. This vacuum modulator is going to be a direct replacement for the original non-adjustable modulator found on your 1965 through 1972 Mustang with either a C4 or C6 automatic transmission. The vacuum modulator is also known as the throttle valve and it receives vacuum signal from your intake manifold. When you press the gas, that creates a lower vacuum. This will create higher pressure to your transmission for better quality shifts. The opposite spectrum, when you're off the throttle, you gain higher vacuum and this will provide lower control pressure. This is how you get much more aggressive shifts during wide open throttle, but almost unnoticeable shifts when you're decelerating. Beginning the installation, get the car up in the air and grab some sort of a pan. When you remove the modulator, there is going to be some trans fluid that's going to come out. You're going to start by disconnecting the vacuum line off the back of the factory modulator and then remove it. There is a spot on here for a wrench, but most times these are just hand tight. They're pretty easy to get off. If you can't get a wrench in there, a small strap wrench will work as well. When the modulator comes out, this pin should come out with it. Make sure it does and make sure you don't lose it or drop it in the pan. You need to transfer this over to the new modulator along with the vacuum line. To repair the new modulator, so we put the vacuum line in place over the end. Put the supplied gasket over the threads. Install the pin and we'll put it up into place. Put the new modulator up into place. Last step here is going to be to reconnect the soft vacuum line to the hard line coming down from the manifold. You want to check your transmission fluid, make sure it's topped off properly, and your installation is finished. The vacuum modulator is a small part that plays a very big role in proper shifting for your 65 through 72 C4 or C6. The installation is very straightforward and very easy to do. You may need a set of pliers or a small set of needle nose to get the vacuum line off. Besides that, usually you can do the installation without any tools. It'll take you all 15 minutes to be back on the road in no time.